So do you want me just to start talking? No. Oh. <laughs> yes, Tracy has a secret. It's probably not what you're thinking right now. In fact, I bet you a million dollars it's not what you're thinking right now. You think you know who someone is. You think you've got an idea of someone. You think you can put someone in a box. But do we really know them? Probably not. <laughs> When Stan and I first started spending time together, which was through work, I was surprised by some of the reaction. Tracy, in particular, you know, had to deal with things that people wouldn't say to me, to my face, but would say to her behind my back. I was told at work, look, um, we all like Stan. Stan's a nice guy, uh, but you can't live with him because they're not like us. Yeah, they're not like us. And I actually didn't know what they were talking about. I said, who's they? And then, you know, very early on when I was meeting some of Stan's relatives and we'd go to the shop and one day we went down to the bread shop and I was with two of his nieces and I ordered some bread rolls and a loaf of bread and they put it on the counter and Stan's nieces picked them up off the counter and the woman behind the counter said, put those down, they're not yours. Yeah, speaking to them in a way they would never speak to anybody I else. I would never have heard this woman speak like that ever. And I'd been there hundreds of times. And I said, but they're with me. Mm. And she was like, oh, oh, sorry. It's not knowing who Aboriginal people are. That's the first thing. I mean, the most, you know, most Australians still don't have any contact with Aboriginal people. That's the truth. So ironically, you know, when Tracy came into my world, into an, into of a relationship with me into our Aboriginal family. She became part of an Aboriginal culture. And there is no, no difference between you know, the, our son, Tracy, and my son, and my children from my first marriage. They are just brothers and sisters. I know there were some people that might have thought in the back of their mind, what's he doing with this white woman? Um, but I have never, ever experienced anything other than being made to feel very welcome and very included. I've never felt as though I'm an outsider, not ever. And unfortunately, I can't say the same for the experience that he has had. After Tracy and I got together and we, we left Channel 7, uh, we had about a year or so. We had a child, um, we bought a home, and then I got offered a job, just as it happens, um, completely out of the blue, to go and work for CNN, which was always a bit of a, a dream of mine, I think, you know, to be able to work for a massive news organisation that covered global events. Packed our bags, <laughs> the following Friday, we left, we left for Hong Kong, didn't we? Yeah. We left Australia uh, early 2001. So it was around 14 years that we were gone. I used to say to Stan, every time we hopped off the plane when we went back home to Beijing where we were living, I said, it's kind of weird, you know, that smell? It's, it's like, it's pollution and it smells like fires and it smells like concrete. You wouldn't describe it as a pleasant smell. But I said, that smell, there's something about it. I feel like I'm at home <laughs> every time I come back here. Hey. Hi. Good, thanks. Hey, man. How's it going, brother? You good? So we lived in Asia all these years, and essentially we came back after living in Hong Kong, Beijing, the Middle East in Abu Dhabi and Dubai. And then three years ago, I get this email from my cousin, my second cousin, saying, I've got something I want you to know. Next minute I get email and then another email and another email and here's all this big long family history and supporting documents and war records and all sorts of things. And she said, you know, our great, her great grandfather, my great great grandfather was Chinese from Amoy in Fujian province in China. I said, Stan, guess what? My grandmother's grandfather is Chinese and he went, what? <laughs> it's really funny, isn't it? You know, you think, oh, this is Tracy Holmes, and being who she is and being fairly well known in the media and um, having the profile that she does, 
people say that, you know, you're Tracy Holmes. Yeah, so my name really shouldn't be Tracy Holmes. Holmes is a name that I have no genetic connection to. Uh, my name should actually be Tracy Lynn. I mean, I wasn't shocked. Our son, Jesse, he looks Chinese. He's got very Asian eyes. What was interesting, especially with Jesse, was that if he was with Stan, they would say to Stan, oh, your wife's Chinese because I'm looking at your son. And Stan would say, no. And, and then Jesse would be with me and they'd look at Jesse and they'd say, oh, your husband's Chinese. And I'd, no. <laughs> When Tracy discovered that, that ancestry, that connection to China, it made perfect sense to me. She would burst into tears sometimes just coming back to China. Then when I met your dad, remember I met your dad and I said, your dad's not white? And all the while there was this, this story and connecting two families and a story to a particular place in Australia. And what, what was incredible too for us is that, you know, of all the places in Australia that Tracy's Chinese uh, great-grandfather could come to, he came to my ancestral country, that he arrives in Wiradjuri country, and Tracy's great-grandmother is living there on Wiradjuri country, and that years later we meet. In a way, everything meets here. My Aboriginal ancestry, Wiradjuri ancestry, Tracy's Chinese ancestry, um, her European ancestry and our relationship together. And it all sort of comes to this land from other lands and from other cultures and, and it all connects in this place. I don't feel any different uh, for having found out I have a Chinese ancestor because I've never identified as anything other than a human being. I still am who I am it's nice to know that I've got other histories and these other stories and you discover things and, and that's wonderful and, you know, you use that as the journey continues. I think this story shows up. Now, crazy it was that here were people saying to Tracy when we got together, saying to someone they thought was white, you don't want to get involved with these people. They're not like us. Little did they know that they were talking to someone who wasn't white at all.